And there's the reason why there's stuff in the canal. You can see it a little bit. You know, I think that my big feet might be a genetic thing, because remember a few years back, my mom like watched me walking and said, I walk just like my grandpa. And I mean, how else, why else would he have a particular gait if he didn't have the uh, anatomy that kind of um, encouraged a particular gait, all right? So, bigger feet are going to make a person walk differently, and I think it's uh, how I walk is a little more stable uh, than somebody with smaller feet. All right, like there's people with toes pointed out, they got a different way of walking. I think their their head shifts side to side when their toes are pointed out when they're walking. I walk in a very, very straight line, all right, and I was reading about the, the, the guy who discovered Lucy, the missing link for the uh, anthropology, just comparing those type of gates. I mean, different bone structures give different gates, all right? Um, and they found like, you know, all those old bones that seem like they'd be similar to a human or becoming human millions of years ago. We're like at that, that point in between where they were kind of walking like human, but still walking like ch closer to chimpanzees and stuff. It's just that, just saying that bone structure influences how you walk. And since I have more wider bones, wider foot bones, that influences how I walk. I think I'm more stable. I think I'm less likely to, to fall down because of wider, wider uh, feet. I just need wide the wide shoes to support that. If I get those narrow shoes, it doesn't really help. In fact, it's too constricting on my feet. Imagine that the Indians were hospitable at one time when the settlers first arrived. I'm just gonna go through this kind of quickly. So pause at any point. Yeah, I think I want to go to this side. I'm trying to keep it in uh, time on, on the timeline that it, it looks like it should be. First people. Ooh, it's hard to read. All right, and then it goes in a circle. You know, this looks like maybe the Indians used that for for grinding grain. <clears throat> then we go to the settlers talking about their experiences of travel. They haven't seen trees in months. And you go through Boise, that's the truth. In fact, here's a picture of how it used to look before we developed it here. But this is the natural appearance where quail thrive and then we start building it up the Europeans I don't know what the that building is for Fort Boise and then now we're talking about it being in development European style This should be in, in time, in order and time. Yeah, coming here after things are comfortable. Yeah, and then we got all this European influence. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, it's typical. European build-up. Alright, and that's it.
Good. I'm with the Boise Police Vehicle Impound Unit. Somebody's complained about your car. Has it been sitting here for several days? Or? Yeah, it has. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, per code, you can only park. I mean, the business owners don't know how long it's been here. Three. What's that? Three days? Um, it's actually 24 hours. Sir. Okay, well, no problem. Yeah, so, yeah, the owners, um, like I say, somebody complained about it. So, somebody in the business complex or something. So, are you living out of your car? No. Just visiting? Are you living out of your car? Nope. Just no. seeing what's going on. So, somebody complained about the car. So. Yeah. All right. Okay, I appreciate it. Have a great day, okay? All right. Take care. Looks like you're going for a bike ride. Got your bike. Are, are you going for a bike ride? I'll join you. Yeah, it sounds fun. So. All right, take care. Thanks, sir. Have a great day. <coughs> All right, so the owners of this building called and complained about me. Either Cold Chain, Bold Distribution, Water Ski Pro Shop. I'm not sure. Out here. And they have a problem with me just kind of parked here. It's ridiculous. All right, well, um, these trucks... Uh, and their trailers and stuff. It's 10.30 today, Friday. Uh, I've seen them parked longer than 24 hours. What are the cops gonna do, haul them away? Look at that. There's one right in front of a fire hydrant and the cop drove over here to harass me instead. What kind of ridiculousness is this? Okay, my car parked on the side of the road, not in the way of anybody. I was quoted, I got a caller complaint quoted 24-hour business you come over here you can't park within like 10 feet of a fire hydrant yet that's what you see here I'm the one who gets singled out what is the deal with that <clears throat> if my car gets impounded overnight or into tomorrow I'll be really mad especially with all this stuff sitting on the side of the road those caller complainers are probably asking, why am I hanging out in the, uh, such an isolated area next to our business? You know, I wish I could sit down and explain to them that I got a court case that you taxpayers are uh, funding where, you know, you support the cops harassing people who sit in their cars on the side of the roads or public parking lots. You give them tickets, set up court dates for them that have two months wait times. And, you know, they ask, you know, why is this person sitting around? I'm trying to do the right thing. I'm trying to wait out this court date so I can take care of it. I think it's less safe to hang out in Idaho City, so I hang out in Boise and as much in the outskirts as I can from the library and stuff. Um, and it's, it's, uh, it's one of those things. It's... It's exactly like the situation with the steel toe boots. I can't work without um, having steel toed boots, but I need the money to be able to afford those expensive boots since my feet are so big. Yet, I can't work, I can't make the money to, to buy those boots. And it's, it's the same waiting on court dates too. These people want to give you the court date and then run you out of the city, and then that leads to warrants and even worse stuff for us. It's just, it's a sick society. Very sick. Check out this car, for example. It hasn't moved since last time I recorded it, like two weeks ago. Still smashed, still leaves around it. Yet it's the people like me who get a complaint that cops really start uh, sinking their fangs into 